But um, and it didn't always used to be like that. Nah, yeah. nah. It yeah. didn't. I mean, but you gotta look at the situation of the game right now. Sales is slumping bad. I just saw a sounds game last night. You got cats that's hurting out here. Pretty yeah. fucking bad. Like Jim Jones yeah. running around out here. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. The MOB album been out for three weeks and suddenly only sold 25,000 right? And you want a major. Um, Cameron, uh, just one day, he just sold Jewel's contract to Def Jam for $2 million. Yeah. And he ain't thinking about putting down the records because he's making money off his people's now. But um, selling the contract. Selling the contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you got guys that really working for other motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, like I got my man Stress here right now. You know what I'm saying? The brother yeah. mixtapes, straight hot yeah. tunes. Yeah, yeah. On his own. You know what I'm saying? Like we in the process of getting this motherfucking internet promotions up. But just know, a thousand dollars take you a long way on the net. You got hip hop game, all hip hop. That money don't cost you nothing. Y'all niggas smoking a thousand dollars over weed and one if you fucking with the salad. <laughs> Straight up. Put um, that money into your career. Put money into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta market yourself. No one's gonna buy it. Like, the thing is, like, you gotta understand. No one is gonna see you be like, oh shit, he's dope. Let me sign him and pay for all the rest of his yeah, life. Don't have to it's not gonna happen. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Give that dream up. Okay. You gotta do it yourself and you gotta go to like, you know, part of um, promoting yourself is, one thing is, is the internet thing, and me and, and me and Tom were talking about that the other day too. Now, you know, that's good. You gotta get your your, your, your digital image up. That's, that's true, okay? But there's fake ways to do it too. So everybody ain't completely fooled by this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, they, they take it with a grain of salt. It still gotta be backed up with something that Anton Ben talked about long when you said to me last year. What when a, when a label's trying to see if you for real or whatever, one of the first things they do is they call your hometown and be like, yo, do you know such and such? Yeah. They see you a monster on MySpace, but nobody know you in North. This is what they doing right now. You go to the label tap dance for these niggas and tell them your buzz is crazy through the roof. It could be somebody sitting in here right now just looking to hear the motherfucker talking about you. They send the niggas into these markets from here to down south now because these down south niggas is coming up with fake sound scans. Like what, two years ago the, uh, the, the uh, Indian kid from Texas, Aztec. Jay-Z made this nigga the biggest hype in the fucking world until they found out the sound scan was fake. They already had this nigga $300,000 advance. They couldn't even get their money back. Now even with the MySpace shit, I know y'all go on these MySpace pages and see they get like five, six thousand plays a day. That's bullshit too now. Cause everybody ain't know what the MySpace generating code is now. They ain't beat with MySpace too much right now. Bottom line is the end of that present, and if you can get on iTunes and sell you some, make you some money, you gonna be all right. You gotta also like like what he been doing with news for the past, I don't know how many years, like a couple years. It's like going to all the showcases. Getting collaborations with mad people. Like, how I many, what, what cash y'all did collaborations with? What type of show did y'all did with y'all? Um, Maria Davis, um, we done took it to Canada. Um, Rob Digger, Fat Joe, Sunshine. I'm a Cuban, we going to Cuban Link tonight, matter of fact. That nigga just got signed a genie when he got busted. Um, yeah, he working, he working, yeah, he working. But I mean, y'all gotta understand, bottom line is do your numbers. It's just like the block. To do your numbers. Because if, like, if you do a show and you got 50 niggas with you, why the same 50 motherfuckers can't go buy a $15 iTunes car and go buy your shit off the fucking internet? Or pump your shit with you. But as an artist, as me personally, from a management standpoint, I don't want to see my artist running around to buy my CD. You know what I'm saying? If you got 20 niggas running with you, take your no motherfuckers work. Because when you get paid, they gonna want something too more than fucking paying boots. Make your team work. You know what I'm saying? Lady Luck, that's my dude. I love her to death. But last week, Ross Eddy, she running around by my CD. Nah. It's not, you can't work like that. Yeah, you're supposed to be passing your shit out at that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, give it away. Give it away. Give it away. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly what he did when he came in. Yeah, yeah.